Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm looking at the Super EQ Q2 Pro TWS earbuds with ANC. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans, it's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So we're going to do an unboxing and a quick review of the Q2 Pro here. Now while I'm doing the unboxing, I'll tell you some of the uh, things about the Q2 Pro. First of all, the price is about $45.99. They have active noise cancelling at ANC. They've got Bluetooth 5.2. And the, in terms of battery life, you're looking at around eight hours from the earbuds themselves, so that's pretty impressive. And that eight hours is with uh, volume at 50% and the ANC on, so that is not bad at all. Um, the ANC also has an ambient mode, so you can hear your surroundings while you've got the earphones in your ears. In terms of the drivers, we've got two 12 millimeter dynamic drivers. So this is a dual driver earbud. And they are sweat and light water resistant. So you can sweat or you can run in the rain, go out in the rain or whatever. You don't have to worry about it. I'm not exactly clear what the uh, exact IPX rating is, but nevertheless, um, as long as you don't jump in the swimming pool with them, you should be fine. There's the case there. It looks pretty nice, actually. Ooh, I like a black and gold color theme. That is looking pretty sweet. USB Type-C port on the back. Three LED lights on the top, on the front, I should say. There to show your battery level. And are they on? There they are. And there's our first look at the earbuds. Ooh, dang. They look pretty swish, huh? Not bad at all, but before we get into that, let's have a quick look what else we got in the box here. So you get a few pairs, a few pairs, <laughs> you get a few pairs of silicone ear tips. If I can ever get this little bag open and oh, they don't look too bad. Those large ones might even be big enough for my ears. We'll have to wait and see. On top of that, of course, you get a USB Type-C charging cable and you get a user guide, which I hopefully won't need. But let's get these earbuds out. And there they are, very lightweight. Of course, don't forget to remove the plastic tape there or you won't get any action from your earbuds. So they feel a little bit plasticky, of course. Well, they are plastic. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you got to keep in mind the price. Around 45 bucks. Anyway, you know what I've got to do. I've got to go and spend some time listening to these. And I'll be back to tell you how they sound. Okay, guys and girls. So I've been spending some time with the Super EQ Q2 Pro. Remember, the price is $45.99. By the way, I will be giving away one Super EQ Q2 Pro, so make sure you check down in the description for information on how to join. It is open to everybody anywhere in the world. Right, so let's talk about how the Q2 Pro here sounds, and it's kind of got your typical uh, budget TWS sound signature, which is a V-shaped sound, meaning the bass and the treble are slightly emphasized and the mid-range is slightly recessed. That's your average kind of sound signature for the most part for your consumer-based uh, earbuds. Now that the sound is slightly warmer and more full-bodied when the ANC is enabled, so with the active noise cancelling turn on, the sound is just a little bit more warmer. And uh, with the ANC off, the mid-range is slightly leaner and the treble is a little more forward. Now the Q2 Pro here has got good clarity. So vocals and instruments, they sound nice and clear. The tonality, as I said, is on the slightly on the warm side of neutral, but it doesn't sound dark or muddy. The bass is punchy and present, but it's not over the top. I would say these are not a sort of a bass head earbud, but for most people, I think the quantity of the bass will be more than enough. 
it's not a super clean bass, but it sounds pretty natural and it's not overly boomy or thick. There is a little bass bleeding into the mid range, but it's nothing out of the ordinary for something in this price range. As for the treble, the treble does sound a little bit metallic sometimes, but it's reasonably crisp and for the most part it's non-fatiguing as well, so if you're treble sensitive, I don't think you will have any trouble listening to these. And the detail retrieval is actually better than I expected too, and that's always a bonus. Let's talk about that A and C now, and the active noise cancelling works about as well as other budget TWS earbuds in this price range, which is to say it, it will reduce some noise, but it's nowhere near the level of the ANC on more expensive like Sony earbuds or AirPod Pros and things like that, but it does work. The ANC is most effective blocking out low frequency droning noises such as engines and air conditioners and for that purpose it does work quite well. The ambient mode works nicely as well so if you want to be a bit more aware of your surroundings turn on the ambient mode and you can hear what's going on around you. So the battery life is uh, pretty much as promised. You get about eight hours at moderate volumes with the ANC on. It's a bit of a shame that there's no APTX for slightly better audio quality, but that would probably increase the price of the Q2 Pro. So, you know, it's one of those uh, concessions that you have to make if you want to keep the price down. Now a couple of things, um, the touch controls work really well, they're very responsive. In fact, um, I, I didn't, wasn't really getting any missed clicks or accidental clicks. And um, when you do use the touch controls, they're very responsive. There's almost no delay at all between touching the button and getting the desired result. So the yeah, touch controls are excellent. Another thing that is really good about these is the call quality. The built-in microphones sound really good. I'll give you an example right here. This is a test of the built-in microphones on the Super EQ Q2 Pro TWS earbuds. My voice is nice and loud, it's quite clear, and there's not too much Bluetooth compression going on. So overall, I would say the microphone and call quality on the Q2 Pro is actually quite good indeed. So that is the Super EQ Q2 Pro and I think for that for the $45 price these are really good. The battery life is nice, the ANC works okay and the audio quality is also decent. One thing that stands out is the core quality which I would say is above average in this price range and in conclusion I would say that the Q2 Pro is definitely worth considering if you are looking for some budget TWS earbuds with ANC. Right, I'm going to wrap it up there guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Parfam audio file style. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more reviews like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check down below for details on the Super EQ Q2 Pro giveaway. And until next time, I'll see you later.